the bare minimum, baby. We're doing the least amount of work possible. Everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Leanne. As you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be talking all about anatomy and physiology, how I pass as somebody who does not like science, is not a science person, doesn't understand science, how I pass with a B in both anatomy, physiology, A, not A, in both anatomy and physiology one and two. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so just a little bit about me. I went to nursing school when I was 32 years old. I went to a ABM program that was 15 months. Um, I just graduated in December of 2024, and I recently just passed my NCLEX, so your girl is officially a registered nurse as of January 2025, period. Um, so yes, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have always been somebody who did not really like science. I didn't understand science. I just was not a science person. It just was never like my thing. So that was one of the reasons why it took me so long to actually go to nursing school is because when I initially went to college, I didn't wanna have to take science courses because I just initially thought that I was not good in them. I thought I didn't like them. I thought I wasn't gonna do well in them. So I was like, mm, let's do something else. So fast forward to me going to my ADM program, we had to take anatomy, physiology one and two, right off the bat. So the first term was anatomy and physiology one, and then our second term was the second part, which was A and P two. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I passed both of those classes with a B in both. I never failed an exam, never failed a practical, and I'm gonna tell you guys how I did that just by doing the bare minimum because a lot of the times when I was studying for these exams, I had nursing exams either the same day, the very next day, the day before, you know, like you get it. So I was really trying to figure out how to juggle and still do well in anatomy and physiology, but also I needed to do well in my nursing courses as well. So this is what I did to make sure that I was successful in my anatomy and physiology classes. So let's get into it, okay. So if you don't know, anatomy and physiology consists of two parts. You have lecture where you obviously go in, your teacher is telling you like, you know, the chapters are going over your PowerPoints. Um, your lectures include homework and they also include exams and quizzes, okay? Then you have your lab portion where you're actually in the science lab and you're looking at models of things. You're actually um, doing like experiments and stuff like that. Like you're actually doing things and looking at things um, in the lab. So with your lab portion, sometimes you have homework, sometimes you don't. We had homework in lab every now and then, but it wasn't like anything crazy, it was online. Um, and so was our homework for the lecture portion, that was online as well. Um, but for lab, our exams consisted of what you call a practical. So when you have your lab practical, your professor will set up these stations, so in our, um, class, I believe there were 50 stations. I believe, yeah, I believe it was about 50 stations and each station is a question. So the lab practical is 50 questions. So what you do is you get a sheet of paper that has all of the questions and then on the back, there is every single thing that you have learned about in, you know, those couple weeks. So for our class, we had a lab practical um, midterm session and then at the end of the final season. So for midterms, we would have a list of everything that we learned from week one up until week five. So it could be a list of things. So that list could consist of, you know, 50, 60, sometimes 70 things, right? Usually the list is gonna consist of more things than are actually gonna be asked about, okay? So what you do is when you get into your lab practical, you have your paper and everybody is just at a station and you basically just have about a minute or so to answer each question that's on the papers. So I'm gonna tell you how I prepared for both my written regular exams and our lab practical. And for both of these, I pretty much use the same thing, okay? It's my holy grail, I live by it. And that is Quizlet, you guys. I lived by Quizlet. And I'm not talking about other people's Quizlets. I'm not talking about a Quizlet that somebody, I'm talking about a Quizlet I made, 
okay i made my own quizlet so basically what i would do for the lecture portion is i would take all of our homework assignments like i said they were all online for each homework assignment i would go through question by question and i would literally take the question that they asked me and put that question in a quizlet and then take the answer where i would find it usually would be from our powerpoints and if that answer was right then i would take that answer and i would put it in our in in my quiz so basically i made a quizlet that pretty much mirrored the homework so to me i felt like it was good for me to study based off of that because i got all of my homework answers from our powerpoints which is where our professors taught from so if i'm getting the answers from the information that is provided to me from my professors there's no way that i could have the wrong information which is why i say i didn't really rely on other people's powerpoints because you just never know if somebody put the information in correctly you just never know so that's how i studied for all of my lectures i would do the homework assignments i would put it in a quizlet and then when it was time to study chapters you know two three four and five i would take each of those quizlets and i would just go through and study each one okay i would do the flashcard method i would do um quizzes on it and i would do the learn function the learn function is what i feel like really helped the most because it requires you to go through and actually write in the um answers so to me i feel like that helps me actually retain the information better versus just looking at the flashcard and trying to memorize the flashcard which anatomy and physiology is pretty much all memorization that's I'm gonna throw, go ahead and throw that out there. So that's pretty much what I did for every single quiz and every single um, exam that I had for anatomy and physiology. So then when it came down to our practical, I did the exact same thing. So every single week when you're in lab, you are going over um, whatever it is you're supposed to learn that week and your professor should allow you to take pictures of whatever it is that you guys are learning. So what I would do is I would take those pictures and I would upload them into a Quizlet and I would write out a question, whether it be, what is this? What does this structure do? What hormone does this produce? It just depends on obviously whatever you're learning at that point, um, you know, in your lectures. Um, and I would use that Quizlet to study for my lab practicals. And again, I would use the learn function. I would have the picture and then they would ask me a question. What is this? What does it do? And I would type it in because it helps you remember what you need to know okay versus just looking at the flashcards and just flipping through and flipping through literally the learn function you guys if you do if you use quizlet whether it's your quizlet or one that's already on there utilize the learn function because i feel like it helps the information stick a lot better versus just going through the flashcards over and over and over again like the learn function makes you jog your memory it makes you have to think like oh wait what is that what does that do what is this what's the name of that so please if you're not using a learn function in quizlet go ahead and use that okay that is how i got b's in both anatomy and physiology one and two probably could have got an a but i'm not gonna hold y'all if i had something nursing related going on at the same time I was focusing more on the nursing stuff. So if you're somebody who could better balance or if you cared a little more than I did, I'm pretty sure you can use this method to get an A as well, okay? So yes, that is how I got passing grades on all of my exams and all of my lab practicals in anatomy and physiology with literally doing the bare minimum. To me, that's doing the bare minimum. I know people who are like printing out physical pictures, people who are making flashcards and just carrying them around with them all the time. I ain't had time for that. Did not have time for that. So utilizing Quizlet was the best thing that I could have ever done, okay? And also, you guys, don't forget to always utilize your other resources, your YouTube. If you guys have, um, if you guys have tutoring sessions, go to your tutoring sessions, like ask questions in class always, and always remember to listen to your instructors. You guys, listen and lecture. If your instructor says something over and over again or if they say take note of this or this is important you're going to need to know this make sure you know it because nine times out of ten is going to be on your exam or a quiz it's going to show up somewhere so make sure you know it okay that is going to wrap up this video i want it to be short and sweet because like i said it's the bare minimum baby we're doing the least amount of work possible okay but i really do hope that this video helps even if it just helps a little bit don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if it does help you or if you already do any of these things if you have any other tips for people who are in a and p drop your tips in the comments as well and thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video
Peace.